surely I have to get another name. Surely I have to change my whole entire name. Like I can't just continue being Benita the South African if I'm not even South African. Like to my channel guys if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so for those of you who don't know I am a South African woman and in particular I am Tsonga and all my life I have had people ask me are you South African are you not from Nigeria or Cameroon like people have thought that I am foreign to South Africa pretty much my whole entire life and I've had a lot of people tell me that you don't look South African so who said that? who said that? Both my parents are Tonga, both of them are from Limpopo, so it's not like one parent is like sort of ambiguous or whatever. Nevertheless, I have heard that my whole life growing up, and so I decided that BAM! I'm gonna take a DNA test. So, can you guys see? I ordered a DNA testing kit from Ancestry DNA. I got it for $59 with tax. I ended up paying $68. Normally, something like this could cost, I think they you, normally cost like $70 or like um, around $99 or something. But yeah, it was, it was quite discounted. I was debating whether or not I should do Ancestry DNA and uh, 23andMe. I think that's what the other one is called. But... Ancestry DNA was cheaper, so that's the one that I went for. I don't know if I'm ready for this myself because I mean I know myself to be South African, but what if I find out, you know what I'm saying? What if I'm like, I don't know, a little bit Nigeria, a little bit Cameroon, a little bit this and that, you know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. I don't I don't mind being from any African country because Africa is my home and all African people are my people. You know my parents don't even know I'm doing this. <laughs> so they're going to be they're gonna you know find out with you guys. You know, we'll see if they've got some explaining to do or not. We'll see, you know, all those years when my my brothers told me I'm adopted growing up we'll see if you know those were actually jokes or if there was actually some kind of truth in it comment down below where you guys think I'm from for those of you who think I don't look South African maybe you're like no man I look a little bit Ethiopian I don't think I look Ethiopian I'm opening up the box right now just to show you guys what it looks like this is a thing where they tell me that they need me to activate my kit and then inside have the collection bag you have the, the spit collector 2000 i don't know what that blue liquid is and then this is for when you want to send it back because you have to send it back to their labs so 20 minutes later so i just finished activating it online and what i need to do now is i need to spit up to uh this little can you guys see this little wavy line there there's a bit aux but okay <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to be gross or anything. And they say excluding the bubbles, so like your spit is excluding. Is it even going down? Is it in? I can't see. Oh, I think it's in. That's not a lot. That's like one little spit or two. I'm trying to do this as gracefully as possible without, you know, showing you guys freaking spit, you know. Because um, I don't think we need to know each other like that. And you know, honestly, I'm very non-trusting And so me submitting in a DNA kit and everything for them to put in their systems I, I'm not exactly like, you know, I'm not happy about that because you know, what if they clone me or something? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. This is so interesting. Can you believe guys that as people we kiss and we just put our spit in other people's mouth and we take theirs in our mouth and we just like tangle up all that spit together and we just swallow it and we give it back out like spit. Gross. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Replace the funnel cap with this blue thing. This blue um cap here with this liquid inside can you guys see this blue liquid is there to stabilize your saliva whatever that means well, I'm supposed to do like that so okay hope I don't if this up um oh gross the two for at least five seconds so our lab can process your results one two three four five 
many months later. Today is the 11th of March and the results are officially in and I just want to share some of my thoughts before I look into the results. So first of all, actually let me show you guys, by the way, this is my baby, her name is Bubbles and we have Jack Jack over there and we have Peaches over there. Anyway, I digress. So like the results are in and I am so flipping nervous guys. Like what if I'm not even South African? Like what does that even mean? You know, what if I'm not even who I say I am? What if I'm not who I think I am? I mean, I know who God says I am, you know, that much I know. But what if, right, like 95% of my DNA is like Cameroonian? Do I still tell people I'm South African or am I just Cameroonian? Am I even South African? Bro, like, what if I'm adopted, ne? And my parents just didn't want to tell me. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if I'm Nigerian? Surely I have to get another name. Surely I have to change my whole entire name. Like I can't just continue being Benita the South African if I'm not even South African. Like, so I was thinking, if I'm Nigerian, I was thinking Boma like for Lasha Day or I was thinking if a Melu, but to be honest, I'm only saying if a Melu because of Americana. And I'm not sure how I felt about the character. So before we get into these results, comment down below where the heck you guys think I'm from. What results you are expecting from my DNA. Let's do this thing for the good times, for the vibes, always for the babies. <laughs> okay, it's the moment of truth. I'm so scared. <laughs> Okay, break down my ethnicity. So, so I'm 66% Southern Bantu people. I'm 32% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu, and 2% Eastern Bantu people. Bro, like I'm from the whole of Africa at this point. The only thing I'm missing is freaking North Africa. Like, what does this even mean? Okay. So I'm 66% Southern Bantu, which essentially what I'm getting from this is I'm 66% South African. Guys, I feel like that doesn't even make sense. Like, how am I 66% South African? Like, that I barely passed. You know how pass is 50%? Like, I literally am above the pass mark by 16%. Oh my God! Am I even South African if I'm only 66? Like, shouldn't I be like, 80 something you know so if i click about this region okay they just give me more information about the southern uh bantu people okay cool okay so i am 32 percent cameroon congo and western bantu people first of all i have always said that congolese people are some of the most beautiful people in africa so guys i'm congolese i'm gonna start telling people i'm congolese i'm gonna put the congolese flag in my bio it's time it's time like surely 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 it's time it's my time, okay? I'm Congolese. And you know how in South Africa, like honestly, all my Congolese friends, all of them know each other. They're all connected. Like they literally, I've met them in different areas, phases of my life, but somehow they all know each other. Guys, I'm just letting you know to my Congolese friends, it's time for you guys to invite me now to the brides and to the family gathering because we're related. In fact, I wish I could call somebody right now. Hold on. Hey, baby. Listen, my boy, I've got news. What's good? So, I'm recording a video right now, and I just took a DNA test, and I am 32% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu people. So, essentially, I'm Congolese, okay? So, what I'm saying to you is from... Listen, you guys must invite me to the brides and everything, because we're related. Oh, wait. I'm like, I, I don't... I didn't buy the whole song. No, I didn't buy that. The name, the look, I was like, nah, she's one of us. This is this. They need to speak to the rents. Tell me, tell me the truth, guys. I have proof here. Don't lie to me. <laughs> well, I need you to get me like a proper Congolese name. That's number one. And. I really have a Congolese name. No, no, I need another one. I need one that's like for the purpose of me being Congolese now. So I need you to get me number one, a name, and number two, from now on, all the brides, all the gatherings, everything, everything, I want my name added to the list because you guys are always together. I got you, I got you, I'll let you know. Hundred. It's listen, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Bonjour, ça va? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, oui, oui. 
euh, je t'aime, euh, 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 what else, euh, yeah, yeah. Ok, guys, so you heard it here first. Andre is going to give me a name and he's going to be adding me to the list. Say hi to the people. Bonsoir, bonsoir à tous. Je suis le frère de Benita. Yeah, we're gonna hit up. We must speak like our language. Yes, yeah, speak our language. Our. Ok, Mbosti, Mbosti, Nabatunyo, so, Nasa Andre, frère, ya Benita. Donc, nous, nous avons un Congolais. Nous viens du Congo. I don't know what you just said. We're going to need an English translation there. <laughs> nah, I just said, nah, when I'm broke, I'm from the land, from the motherland. You know I just said, I'm your bro from the motherland, Congo. We out here. And then <laughs> included in this is um, Cameroon, Equatorial, Guinea. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Gabon, uh, Congo. Mm, Rwanda, tad bit of Rwanda, Angola, Namibia. Oh, guys! <laughs> Me, I'm exotic, guys. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm African. I'm an African woman. I'm as African as they come. You know, I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this and that. You know what I'm saying? D double, double this, this, double, double that, that, double this, double that, double, double this and that. And that's me. I'm the girl. I'm the girl. Okay, I'm the girl. So I'm East African too. So I'm South African, West African, uh, there by Central Africa, and East. Did I say East African already? Did I say it? I'm East African. And the countries included are Uganda and Kenya. It's about 2%, so it's not that much. Okay guys, so that is that. On that, I am 66% South African essentially, 32% Cameroon, Congo, and just there by the general western area there. A little bit of East African. This was a lot of fun. I think it's very interesting to learn more about my ancestry. But honestly, these results affirm for me a belief that I hold strongly, which is no African can ever be a foreigner in Africa. The whole of Africa is ours, regardless of the country, the region, the area. As Africans, we are Africa, this is our home. I wanna take this opportunity to say, I say no to xenophobia, I am against xenophobia. We are Africans, we need to unite, we need to stand together, we need to build our nation, build our people, build our industries, and we need to be Africans for Africa. We need to be Africans for Africans. I do not support xenophobia. And by the way, did you guys know that Rwanda is actually pronounced Gwanda? I met a girl recently who Who's from Gwanda and she was actually she corrected me when I said Rwanda and she said that that's how they pronounce it uh, Gwanda but yeah this is um, very exciting to learn but now I'm gonna need my parents to explain a few things actually so mom dad when you're done watching this video call me let's talk <laughs> That's it for today guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I will be back with more videos. Peace and love guys.